today I am providing cart for a consumer who is um, a member on this council. It's an aging advisory council. They provide services for aging um, citizens throughout Boulder County. They do a lot of grants and stuff to help um, the elderly. I try to keep a line of sight between all the speakers and the monitor so that Rebecca doesn't have a hard time watching people speak or lip read and watching, um, reading the cart at the same time. Looks like in this room, the speakers will be over there. If Rebecca sits here on the end, she'll be able to see everybody who's speaking um, as well as read the cart. And she's also close enough to the presentation that she'll be able to follow that as well. At this meeting, I see people that I only see once a month. There are 21 people on this council all together. I'm a very good lip reader. I depend on that a lot. But to come to a meeting once a month and read everybody's lips, and I, I just can't keep up with it. it. It's too much work, it's too exhausting, and I miss too much information. So without CART, I wouldn't come. I honestly wouldn't because it's just too hard. Because I'm a lip reader, I like to watch people's facial expression and things, and when I look away from the screen, I can watch the people for a few seconds and see their facial expression. I can look at the slides, and then I can look back at the screen. I'm a fast reader, so I can look back at the screen and I can catch what I missed. It's, I think, more personal. You know, I, I get to, I'm here on the job, I've met um, some great, just fabulous people, interesting people. Um, CART in the educational setting, I've had um, three lawyers go through school, um, I've had civil engineers, uh, math majors, um, counseling, psychiatrists, forensic psychologists, it's, you know, it's a free education sort of, um, it, and it's, you know, I've learned quite a bit, and I've learned quite a bit from my consumers as well, like I, I don't think I would have ever um, been as sensitive as I am to the deaf and hard of hearing community. I learned sign language years ago, uh, five years ago when I, when I was becoming deaf, but when I use a sign language interpreter, I have to watch them all the time. I can't ever look away or I'll miss something. With CART, I can look away briefly and then I can catch up because I know how much text is on the screen. So that's really cool. I can, I can see some of what's going on. I can see when's a good time to ask a question because people give a facial expression when they're kind of winding down. And if I can see that, I know that it's time to raise my hand. So Kite gives me the ability to not just stare at the screen and get everything, but also to look away every once in a while and see what's happening in the room. I do a lot of legal court, so I'm in the courtroom a lot with deaf and hard of hearing consumers um, and juries, judges, attorneys. Um, who are also uh, deaf or hard of hearing. Um, I also do um, medical appointments. We do um, religious events. We do conferences and conventions. Um, we do a lot of advisory boards, councils. Um, anywhere, anywhere you can be, we can be. This allows me to function as a hard of hearing person with a profound hearing loss that without the technology of my hearing aids and cart, I'd be like sitting in a cave at home. This allows me to participate, to contribute. Here's the other really neat thing. This is the Aging Advisory Council. They have a hard of hearing person sitting here all the time. You know what, that reminds them that we exist. Well,